Hey Daily Mix, my name's Hannah and today I'm going to be showing you a makeup. So, I don't know about you but I kind of go through stages of really being into clothes, wanting to buy loads of clothes and really being into makeup and recently it's just been solid makeup. I haven't bought many clothes at all over the last couple of months and I've just wanted to go out and buy lots and lots of makeup. So that's what I've done. <laughs> the first thing I have to show you is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and mine is in the shade 010 Light Porcelain because I am very pale and that is the first reason I love this foundation. Most high street foundations have such a small range of colours that it's really frustrating if you have a skin tone which doesn't fit into that range. So naturally, especially in winter, I'm a very, very pale kind of person. So I do struggle to find foundations. So if you have a skin a skin colour, a skin tone which you find really difficult to find foundations for, I would check out the Match Perfection line because they have so many colours. This foundation is just great for everyday use because I think it gives a medium coverage, it's got nothing really fancy and special about it, it isn't really dewy, dewy and it isn't really matte, but it just does the job of covering your face, for <laughs> covering your face, that's what foundation is meant to do, it just does the job of perfecting your face for everyday use and it is also only about seven eight pounds and a lot of the time it's on offer for five pounds so this foundation is incredible next thing i have is a blush and for christmas one of my grandparents gave me some money um, for me to buy what i wanted and i'd always wanted to try a nars blush so that is what i spent the money on i bought the nars blush in desire the color looks like this it is a really really bright kind of candy vibrant pink which because I am really pale I think really works on my skin because it adds a really bright pop of colour. So if you put too much of this on you end up looking like a clown because it is so highly pigmented. That's the um, colour of it there. So I'm wearing it on my cheeks today if you can see that and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous especially for the winter time where I want a kind of bright kind of pinky almost ready look that will give me that look of um just coming in from the cold so your cheeks look all wind bitten whereas in the summer I go for a more peachy coral look so this blush is amazing NARS obviously it's amazing quality super super pigmented really soft stain power is amazing so this blush I love Another Christmas present which I got, which I mentioned in my What I Got For Christmas video, were two Debenhams gift cards, which I asked for so I could buy some high-end makeup. And I'd always wanted to start trying and using the MAC eyeshadows, so I decided to spend the first pretty big lump of the gift card on a MAC quad that I made up. So the palette itself is about £6.50, and then I bought these four colours to go in it. Basically what I wanted to create was the kind of perfect quad which I could take, to, um, because I live at uni, I could take to go home for the weekends really easily, it's small, it's compact, and it's just four colours which I can create any kind of look with. So the four colours I chose were Floof, Quarry, Handwritten and Satin Taupe. So they're the four colours, I don't know whether you're going to be able to um, see them, but they're the four colours and I just think they create the perfect quad for me. Um, I chose all um, warm brown toned colours to kind of match my brown eyes and although MAC eyeshadows are very expensive, the pigmentation and the colour payoff and the wear time I think is really really worth it and I'm glad I started collecting MAC eyeshadows with the palette. So that was my pretty big buy and I'm very excited to use it a lot more. The other eye product I have to show you is the Topshop Magic Liner. This is one of um, those felt tip style eyeliners and it's a very very fine line. So you can create a thin line, a thick line with this. It's very easy to use because it is the felt tip style, which I hadn't really tried before the felt tip style eyeliner and I really wanted to try some Topshop makeup so I picked this up. It was only about £6.50 which I think is a really good price. I got it in the colour... Oh, it doesn't say it on. I think it's called Enraved or Engraved or something. So it's just a black colour and I have found this so so easy for creating cat flicks. I'm wearing it today to create a little cat flick and I just find it a lot easier than liquid eyeliner so I've really been loving this. This is just a really good quality eyeliner for a really good price. So not only have I had a bit of a makeup buying obsession, I've had a bit of a lipstick buying obsession. I never used to be one for really being into lipsticks that much a couple of years ago. Um, I more just wore lip balms and then recently I've just fallen in love with lipsticks a bit and I've gone a little bit lipstick 
crazy, which you're probably gonna think me really weird when I show how many lip products I have bought over the last couple of months. The first one I'll show you is the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipstick in the color Latino. So that's the color here, it's a kind of shiny pink color. It's a mid pink, I wouldn't say it's really light pink, I wouldn't say it's a really dark bright pink, it's just a really easy to wear mid pink with a really nice shine to it which, which obviously the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipsticks have because they're not matte, they're made to give you a bit of a sheen while still giving you a lot of pigment. So I chose this colour just because I think it's really good for every day. The Rimmel lipsticks are also a really good price, they're all around the £5 mark. I just think it's a great lipstick and I'd love to pick up some more colours from this range. The next purchases I blame completely on the YouTuber Essie Button. I got into her videos a couple of months ago and I've just fallen in love with all her videos. And the product which she raves on and on and on about are the... Revlon lip butters. Now I've heard other YouTubers such as the amazing Tanya Burr and Zoella talk about these and they also made me want to buy these but I was just pushed to buy them because of how much Essie Button talks about them and I ended up getting three colours because Superdrug were having them for £5 each instead of their normal price of £7.99 which is really really good so £3 cheaper than they're meant to be and um, they're such good quality that I think they're worth more than £7.99 $7.99 anyway, so to pay a fiver for them is amazing. Now, the reason why I love these lip products is because when I'm in uni, I'm in uni for about seven hours, so I don't want to be wearing a kind of really heavy lipstick, which I have to keep touching up and thinking about. I can feel it on my lips. So I really do like sheer lipsticks, which are more, which are a mixture in between lip balms and lipsticks, really soft and easy to wear, and the, but the colour payoff is still good, and I still feel like I'm wearing a nice pop of colour in a lipstick. So. That's why I have fallen in love with these. So the three colours I have are Candy Apple, which is, the name for it is perfect, it's just a candy apple colour. It's an orangey toned red, and it is just beautiful and it's got a lovely sheen to it. Next colour is Sorbet, and this is just a kind of nice, bright, happy pink. So that's that. This is this may be my favourite out of the three. I just love wearing this. And the last colour is Pink Truffle, which is a pink brown, and I love my pink browns. And that looks like this, which is just a really great everyday my lips but better colour. I know a lot of people who watch beauty YouTube videos are younger and maybe in school, and these are absolutely perfect for school because the colour isn't really strong, so you're you don't look like you're wearing really heavy makeup, which you don't want to for school, and also they're very light and easy to wear and easy to reapply. So I think these are great for school, they're great for a long day at work or at uni like me, and I've just really fallen in love with these products. These are just amazing and you should definitely check them out. If Whilst I was ordering the Topshop Magic Liner, I also picked up my first two Topshop lipsticks. Now, I've heard YouTubers rave on and rave on about Topshop lipsticks for years and I've never bought any, but I was on the Topshop website and not only do they have free delivery, but they give a 10% student discount, which is great for me. So I picked up two lipsticks. I picked up Pillow Talk, which when I hear people talk about Topshop lipsticks, a lot of them talk about Pillow Talk. It just seems to be the Topshop famous colour and it is a very light pink to it and I do love it um, for a much lighter, softer lip, lip look. It's young and it's girly and it's lovely to wear with kind of a brown smoky eye. It looks like this. It's just great. It's got, it's not matte, it's got a nice sheen to it, which I like. I'm not the biggest fan of matte lipstick. Topshop packaging is just gorgeous, and this is a really lovely lipstick. The other colour I got is Really Ruby, which is the colour I'm wearing on my lips today. I don't know if it's a pink that's very close to a red, or a red with a very pinkish tone. I can't decide. Um, I think I'd call it a very vibrant red pink. So... I'll just swatch it for you. So actually in the bullet it looks red, but then when I swatch it, it looks a very bright pink. And on my lips, I think it looks quite a bright pink. But it's just an amazing colour, maybe not a kind of everyday going to uni colour, but a bit more of a special um, colour, maybe an evening colour or a day where I'm doing something a bit more special. <laughs> I've said special too much. This is just a really amazing colour. I didn't have anything like this in my collection, so I was really, really excited to use this 
and yeah Topshop lipsticks are around the £8 mark which I think is fantastic because the quality of them I'd actually say is quite similar to the MAC lipsticks so if you don't have the money for MAC lipsticks which I know a lot of people don't because they're around £15 a lipstick then I would definitely check out the Topshop lipsticks because they are great. So that is everything in my beauty haul. I know it was a lot of lipsticks um, but I'm going through a bit of a lipstick obsession. So I hope you enjoyed this and maybe you want to go out and buy some of the projects I mentioned. Um, hope I see you soon. Bye.